Hello and welcome back to the channel and to a different type of video today. Now don't click off just yet um, until I explain what this is and then show it to you and then you can do what you want. But please don't click off the video just yet. So this thing here is called a mate gate. I got it sent out by uh, a person called I Do Agri. He also sent me this lovely hat for the winter time. So um might wear that during the, the colder months in winter. I don't think I need it now. No, I don't think I need to wear it today. It's fairly sunny out and not a cloud in the sky, so I might just leave it until winter. Anyways, I just want to say a huge thank you to uh, I Do Agri, or his actual name is Declan. So I just want to give you a big, huge thank you to I Do Agri. Uh, his YouTube channel will be linked in the description, so... um. If you want to check him out, you can head down to the description and check out his YouTube channel. But um, that out of the way, uh, we'll now explain what this is. And then I will show it, to you, show it to you then in use. Okay, so this thing here is called a mate gate. You have this uh, bolt down here, which you either tighten up or you loosen out. And that basically is, it's basically an adjustment for, for this. As you can see, the, the bolt here stops it from going up any further. So that basically adjusts how much of a gap here you want. And then once um, you have it clipped onto the gate, you just tighten up the bolt. So this bit here clips onto a gate. So once you have the gate on there, you close it down and you tighten this bolt here and secure it on the gate. And then once it's on the gate, you have this chain here, which you wrap around the gate. And then you clip it in here, you close down this, and then you have your own sort of personal or clip that you put in that hole there. And that secures that and it doesn't lift it up. Now, some people might say, well, if you, if you have a, a gate, you either have your, your latch and the slot it goes into and then you either put a padlock or something on it and yes that is the case a lot of farmers in the republic of ireland and even in the northern Ar northern ireland just on the island of ireland in general probably does have a gate that has a its latch and then the slot it goes into and then obviously a padlock and on our farm the majority of our gates do have that just their latch slot it in padlock it up or whatever but uh, we do have two or three gates that um, don't have a, a slot to clip into. Or it does have a slot to clip into, but it's not going in the whole way. And it's a bit uh, unsecure when you have cattle behind the, the gate. So it could easily open. Um, uh, I do have two or three gates and I will demonstrate this on those gates. And I'll show you basically what I'm trying to say through talking here but i can show you through talking and through the the video the frames the picture as well uh but we'll do that in just a moment but uh, if you want to buy yourself one of these mate gates uh there's a link down in the description of this video if you click on that link you can purchase your own mate gate you have different options so you can buy one for 30 euro or you can buy 10 for whatever and then I think you can buy uh, 30 of these for like 200 euro, which is uh, which you're saving 100 euro there because um, I do agree is making these himself um, by hand, I presume, because it doesn't really look like it's made in a big developed factory. It's like it's made in his own little workshop and it's actually very, very good quality. Everything is the wells, it's welded on perfect. Um, you have uh, your little bolt there as well. It's good, you've your bolt there as well. It's just perfect. It's good quality steel. It's overall, it is a magnificent product of good quality. Um, for something that's made in someone's uh, shed or garage, it is perfect. Uh, perfect quality it probably takes a bit of time to make obviously the materials to get it uh, the steel and stuff isn't cheap so he's obviously 
charging the correct amount and he's making his small little profit as well uh, as you as you need so if you want to get yourselves one of these click the link down in my description and uh, you can go ahead and look at the details for yourself right i also wrote down here a couple of pointers or uh, bullet points or uh, summing up uh, the what the website is saying so when you click the if you want to uh, purchase one for yourself or even just check it out on the website uh, click the link below in the description and the website has all the details you need everything you need to know about it is on the website so even if you're just inquiring about it maybe just want a, a bit more information about it uh, click the link down into the in the description Go to the website and all the information you want is there but uh, as i mentioned before you have different price ranges so you can get one for 30 euro you can get two for 50 euro you're saving 10 euro uh, you can get five for 120 euro or you can get 10 for 200 euro and then you're saving 100 euro there as well and all parts um excluding the changes uh this whole section here um so all of that is zinc plated and galvanized uh, so it uh, will prevent rust on it which is handy and it's good and that's basically what you want you don't want some steel thing hanging on a gate that's prone to, to rusting and stuff so it's all it's zinc plated and it's galvanized so um it's going to prevent a lot of rust and save you a lot of hassle as well. Um, it will clamp, so this bit here, and you adjust it with the, the bolt here. Uh, the clamp, uh, it will clamp on any farm gate with a bar that is between 20 to 60 millimeters in diameter. So obviously, when you adjust the bolt here, you're adjusting the gap between there. And obviously the minimum gap you can get before it's fully closed is uh, 20 millimeters or 60 millimeters anywhere between that range it will clamp onto that type of gate and uh, now we're getting into ver the important bit your payment options because I know people might be a bit uh, skeptical of what the payment options are is the website safe the website is safe it is has the link with the HTTPS so it is completely safe basically if you bought anything off a website that's safe this website is the same so your payment options you can do a debit or credit card you can do a shop pay uh, I don't know what that is it's probably similar to PayPal or something but shop pay uh, you can do PayPal and you can do Google pay so you have a lot of different um, options uh, at your disposal pay payment options at your disposal if you want to, to get one yourself um the hats he's also selling hats as well he's selling a lot of different uh products as well but the main thing really we're focusing on is this mate gate because he makes it himself uh he ships it off himself it, basically everything here from buying the materials the planning of making it the actual making of it and uh, shipping it off. So he might just bring it to a post office or something and um, he ships it off for you. Um, it's only, it's not a, it's a one person trying to make a business and uh, he invented this little mate gate. So you're not tying gates with like baler twine or bits of those steel fence yokes. This is just a handy yoke that you clamp onto your gate, you wrap the chain around it and you have your oil clip there to slot into the hole or you can use a padlock to make it extra secure. Now if you're using it on a, a gate that's basically beside a roadway, a busy roadway, I wouldn't put it on a gate that's entering a field from a roadway because obviously it's only held down with a a bowl so any man could come in with a spanner and take it off uh, unless you have a padlock on it but then if someone really wants it you have the cordless grinders they can simply just cut off the padlock so um, I recommend only have this in a gate 
or on a gate that's actually in your farmyard, away from prying eyes, or in a, in a gate in the middle of a field that's also away from prying eyes because it could be easily stolen if you leave it out in the open on a roadway or whatever. So um, just so you have that in mind, I recommend, and me personally wouldn't leave it on a gate that's entering a field from a roadway because it's obviously there for people to look at. If people see it, they might say, oh, I fancy that. And they'll just take it off your gate because you got you have people like that out there. So uh, I recommend don't put it on a gate that's on a roadway. Put it in a gate that's in your farmyard or in the middle of a field away from the um, prying eyes. But uh, let's go outside now and we'll test it on a few of our gates that uh, don't have a, a latch or stuff like that. So uh, let's head outside. This is the first gate here. It's tied up. There's a rope just wrapped around the gate itself. And, uh, and a concrete post for the fence. Um, there's no um, loop or hitch or a slot for the for the uh, hitch there. There's no tin for this to go into. So uh, we basically either use this rope wrapped around the gate or we use this bit of um, steel, bit of wire type thing uh, also to put around the, the concrete post there. So that's how we used to do it, but now there is a better system out there. Uh, the gate mate or whatever it's called again. Basically you just uh, connect it to the gate, you wrap the the chain around the post and then you clip it into the, the gate mate that you bolted on to the, to the gate. So um, I'm going to put the camera down and I'm going to uh, bolt on the gate mate and wrap the chain around it and then I'm going to show you uh, close up uh, what it looks like and how secure it is and all this but as you can see here there's a little bit of play in it with the rope obviously we could have uh, we can shorten up the rope a bit and tie it and make it more uh, tighter where there's less play in it but uh, with the gate mate you have uh, a lot of um, chain on it so you can either have it loose like that or you can wrap it around a couple of times with the chain and make it more tighter with the gate mate which makes it a way, way more easier than using a, a bit of rope so uh, anyways I'll plant the camera down and I will get the gate mate set up and tied around the, the gate uh, tied around the concrete post now the nut is uh, it's a 19 it's a 19 spanner so um, So there, as you can see, um, I basically bolted it on down there. So you have the the clip it. It's clipped on the gate there, as you can see. If the camera will focus, I then wrapped around. <coughs> I wrapped the chain around the concrete post, and then I also wrapped it around the actual gate here, and then I um, secured it in the in the yoke, and then I put the the oar clip in. Um, so there you go. So I'm after taking the chain off there, you can see it dangling there. So basically I wrapped it around the concrete post. I then took it 
and I wrapped it around the gate and yeah I wrapped it around the gate there as you can see you lift that up and you clip that in and then you put in your your oar clip now if you wanted the gate tighter there's a bit of a, a swing in it there isn't a hole much you could probably wrap the chain around a bit more mess around with it and then clip it in here and get it uh, tight enough that there isn't a lot of play in it but there's no there's no animal getting out of that even though we've used a rope before around the concrete post and this little steel tin as well uh, to put cattle in here in this square paddock but uh, now we have a, a mate gate you just bolt it onto the gate you wrap the chain around whatever in my case it's a concrete post and then you clip it in the little clamp there and then you either secure it with your oar clip that's provided or you can use a padlock and um, that's basically the first gate done uh, there's now and two more gates I believe that I can think from the top of my head that I'll go and demonstrate for you as well So here's the second gate. There's not really a, a hitch for this. There's there's one there, but <clears throat> it's kind of high up. It's um, as you can see. There's it's a big lift, and even if I did lift it, I can't even get it close to uh, the hitch there. Uh, so um, what we do? There's a rope over there, that blue one just there, because uh, this gate uh, opens this way, and it also opens and closes that gap there. So you can also use that mate gate over there instead of the rope but we also uh, tie the gate here closed using that very same blue rope but now with this mate gate all I have to do is connect it to the, to the gate and wrap the chain around it uh, put it in the slot and put the aura clip in it so uh, I'm, uh, I'll demonstrate that now for you as well so there it is so instead of what we normally would use is that blue rope now the reason the blue rope is over there is because this gate here was over there and tied that way because this is a little sort of pathway um, to get it into that field or this field here which we were in there the other day looking at grass and stuff to, for letting out cattle so that's that's why the, the rope is over there because the gate was tied shut that way but uh, we would we would use either, we'd use that blue rope to tie the gate uh, over there, or we'd use the blue rope to tie the gate here. But now with the uh, this uh, magnificent bit of technology here, the the make gate, where we don't need any rope, we don't need any wire, we don't need any bale or twine or string. We use uh, we can use one of these. And like once you have this bit here, 
uh, bolted onto the onto the gate itself. It's just it's very easy. You don't have to be spending a minute here tying knots and stuff. All you have to do is uh, get grab the chain, uh, lift up the flap here, clip it in there, put down the flap, and put in your oil clip, and it's secure. And there's very little there's very little movement in it, and it's fairly strong. So I kind of see any cattle uh, bushing out through that. And uh, basically, I could take that off and I could swing the gate over that way and wrap it around that post as well, which All right, last but not least, you can also do double gates. So you can tie two double gates together to keep them uh, securely closed. It's not just tying a gate to a post or whatever. And as you can see there, uh, the gate is tied up there against that stake with the, the blue rope. Or if it was going across that way, blocking the route up there, it would be tied to, to that post right there. But anyways, we're going off track there. We're going to keep our attention now uh, to the double gate. Now, I don't know if you can see, but the latch there isn't going in a whole lot actually it's it's probably going in about less than 10 mil anyways so it's not going in a lot and usually now we'd use that rope uh, there that's wrapped around the post that we'd use that rope um, to tie to tie those two gates together but uh, obviously now we have a new we have a new tin on the market that makes life that little bit easier this yoke, the mate gate, so instead of wasting time tying a rope and tying knots around it, bolt this to the gate, it's on it securely, and all you do is wrap the chain around it. So, like I've done with the last two gates, I'm going to put the camera down, I'm going to bolt uh, the mate gate onto the gate, and tie it around the gate then, and then I'll give you a closer look at it. And there it is on a, on a double gate. So obviously you just bolt the actual mate gate then onto either either one of the gates and then whatever gate you tie it on you wrap it around the other gate and then you clip it in the slot here. And again if you wanted to make it tighter you'd probably uh, pull more of it through that little slot there just pull it out that way and then it'll secure in the little slot there then you'll put down your flap and pull in the oil clip and that will basically tighten up the chain if you don't want any slack in it. But again, obviously I'm not, for video purposes, it doesn't really matter if it's slacking or not. But if we just unclip this, you can see there's not a whole lot of clay. There's not a whole lot of clay in it, so there's not an awful lot of slack in it. That's pretty tight on it. So um, again, that's it on a double gate. You've seen it on a single gate wrapped around a post that's what it is on a double gate and um, it's fairly good okay so just for argument's sake i put down the camera and i just put an extra sort of link um through the through the slot there i just pulled the chain out more i got an extra link uh, secured in the little slot there and um that sort of took out any slack in it and it also tightened up it also tightened up the gate a bit so people that's wondering saying well if you got a rope or a bit of bale or twine or whatever it's better because you can get it 
as tight as you want and there'll be no slack in it and less movement. This is basically the same. You can have as much slack in it as you want uh, or you can pull the chain more um, through that little slot there and get a, get whatever uh, link caught in it. Uh, it won't even move. All you have to do is put one link into that little slot there and you put down your flap and you pull in your clip and it's not going anywhere. And as you can see, there's no slack in that chain whatsoever. So just for people who's wondering, can you get the slack out of it and the looseness out of uh, using the, the gate mate? Yes, you can. It's very similar to using bear or twine or a rope, except you'll have this either permanently on a gate and all you have to do is get your chain, wrap it around the other gate or a post, clip it into the different slot, you put down your flap and you secure it with your oar clip or a padlock. And that's basically your gate mate. Okay, so we're back in the house and um, after using the mate gate on three different gates. So now I'm just going to talk about what I think about the the mate gate itself after using it. Because uh, I done one at the start before I used it and gave my sort of visual opinion on it and what I thought of it then. But now after using it, I think it's a really good and um, it's a really good and handy bit of kit to have on the farm because obviously you can still go around using bale or twine and you can use your rope or whatever but if you buy whatever gates you have so for example just take uh, for me uh, you've seen the three gates uh, I had there that I tested this on so if I bought three of these well two now because I have one I could leave uh, one of these on each of those gates separately and all I have to do then is go Get the chain, wrap it around it, clip it into the slot there, and uh, I'm I'm away sucking diesel then. So it is a pretty good um, and a, and an intelligent uh, invention by Mister Declan, or I do agree himself. So uh, I give him that. It is a very good invention. Uh, one bit of constructive criticism. So don't take any offence to this. Is maybe a bit more wells around this region here um because uh when i was tightening it on the gate it i think it moved slightly but uh, it didn't break or anything it just moved ever so slightly uh maybe i tightened it too tight maybe that's just me but um i just for declan himself or i do agree there is absolutely nothing wrong with this i absolutely uh love it i think it's really handy because I'm not the best now when it comes to tying ropes and string um, together. I'm actually known on our farm with uh, the, old man, the old man and the brother, as in I'm not the best in tying ropes together and, and knots and all that. So this to me is very, very handy and nice to have uh, around on the farm. But uh, just a bit of constructive criticism for Declan himself. Um, the bit, the wells that you have this bit connected to this bit so in and around here i'd say maybe um two tacks either side so one there and one there and if possible maybe some at the bottom if you can get into it if not maybe a tack there and uh, a tack there and that should make it a bit more stronger than what it is but either or it is fairly strong with the way it is um there's absolutely nothing wrong with it at all it's a magnificent i, I just like a round of applause for you for actually thinking and coming up of an invention like this because it is very very handy and i do absolutely love it so again back to what i was saying uh for me example i showed you the three gates that needed ropes or whatever to tie them shut so if i had two more of these i could literally leave these on the gates or basically come spring or summertime when the cattle are out in the fields and those gates need to be used and tied or secured i could take these i can take them off during the winter but when i need them i can leave them on during the summer months 
and, and leave them outside and just leave them on the gates then and obviously when the cows are being housed I can take them off and so on and so forth so it is a pretty good invention I know I'm saying that a lot and if there's anyone out there I really do recommend you going onto the website even looking at it maybe if you if you liked what you've seen in this video I recommend buying one it's one of them is 30 euro you can get two of them for 50 euro you're saving 10 euro there but all the information you want is on the website I will have a, a link to it down in the description of this video and I'll also have it linked in the about section of my YouTube channel because this is my own um, personal link that uh, Declan or I do agree made for me so uh, if you use my personal link uh, me myself and I do agree benefit from it so um, if you wouldn't mind using my link I would really appreciate it and um, go ahead and check out the mate gate in the link below and um, I think that's uh, that's that I just to sum it up really really good um, invention it's a really good product I could see uh, a future in this it's, um, it's it's a good business you have going there so um, again a round of applause to you I really love it <laughs> it's actually very well made just maybe an extra weld or two here and there just to make it an extra bit extra bit stronger um, for people that like me who might want who might want to make sure it's secure on the gate and um, we might over tighten it a bit or something so uh yeah it's a really really good product it really really is and um that's it so if you liked this video please do give it a like don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell notification um i also have my own online website where i sell my own merch uh, the link to that will be down in the description as well so if you wouldn't mind checking that out as well as long as along with this as well checking this out and my merch um i would appreciate it i do i really, would really appreciate it so um please do check out my merch check out um the gate mate and uh like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video very soon take care